Welcome to April's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is n airy tree pre-order traversal. Given the root of an n airy tree, return the pre-order traversal of its nodes values. n airy tree input serialization is represented in their level order traversal, and each group of children is separated by the null value. You can see here this n airy tree looks like 1, null, 3, 2, 4, null, 5, 6. So each one of these nulls separates every level. But that's really not much concern to us because we have our node values with the value inside of the node and its children, which are going to be a list of nodes. So how it looks like to us doesn't really matter. All we need to do is return a list of its values in the pre-order traversal level. Now they tell you that the recursive solution is trivial. Could you do it iteratively? Now let's see if the recursive solution really is trivial. If we were to do a pre-order traversal, normally we would do a depth first search. We'd start at the root, and we would go to the first children node. And if that one has children, we would go down to that children, and whatever value finally has no children, we'll add it to the um, our output. And after that, we'll recursively call back to whatever node we were coming from, and see if there's any more children to add, and, and basically do this depth first search. So this is a depth first search. What we'll do is pass in the node. And this, as they say, should be pretty trivial. Let's call this our output. It will be an empty list. And we'll do this in pre-order traversal. So first to note is if not node, we'll return. Otherwise, let's first add to our output the node's value. And now for all its children, we'll see in node.children we're going to recursively call our defer search. Finally, let's call our defer search here and then return the output. Now, will this work? Looks like that's working, so let's submit it and accept it. So as I said, it's trivial, I suppose. Um, if you're familiar with binary trees, it's really the same formula. It's just that we, now we have this for loop. Instead of going left to right, we have to do it for every single child in this node. But this is recursive, right? How can we do this iteratively? Uh, that gets a lot trickier. If we were doing this as a binary, uh, binary tree, maybe that would be easier. But with this, doing it iteratively is kind of hard because we have to store somewhere all the values that we've seen so far. So to kind of mimic what we did recursively, I suppose we can use either a queue or a stack to follow that same formula. What we'll do is create a queue. We'll just call it the queue and have a list of the root. And we'll have our output here, the list. So normally while there's a queue, we'll first pop off our candidate, which is going to be the queue pop left. And first thing we'll do is add to our output the candidate's value. But now what do we do? Well, we have to add to our stack or queue all the children. But this is where it gets hard, because if we just added the children in order, that actually ends up just becoming a breath first search. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to do a pre-order choice, which is going to be a depth first search. So how can we avoid this? Well, um, start with starting with the root. What we'll do then is add all the children, but we're going to go backwards and we're going to append to the left of our stack or queue just the reverse order of our children. So what we'll do is for C in what I'm going to do is reverse and its children here. And I'm going to append to the left, or a Q, every single child. That actually mimics the depth for search. Like you can imagine, we start here with one. Now we now our stack is empty, right? So now we have to add these guys. Well, we'll first add four to the left, then two, then three. So it's kind of like in order. Um, and you might ask, like, why do we have to do that? Well, okay, when we get here, we want to add 5 and 6, but we want to 
put that in front of our queue, right? But we don't want to mess up the order, so we have to do it reversed. So we got six and then five. And now we pop off five to the left. And that's going to mimic that pure traversal. So let's see if this works. And it looks like it's working, so let's submit that. Oh, I've got this edge case. If not boot, we'll return an empty list. And there we go, accepted. So this time complexity wise is going to be the same, but we're doing it iteratively. You can argue that it's more readable. I don't think we're saving space because of our queue, but. But hey, this uh, is iterative, so that's nice. Okay, well, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.